Now that last little video, that brownie video, that was a little technical. So I got something a little more simple for you because I know these kids is probably feeling, you know, not included after that grown folks brownie. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do like a little apple turnover type thing, you know, with a little puff pastry. Um, it's real simple, it's real simple. All you gotta do is get you about three or four Granny Smith apples that are green ones in the store, peel them, take the core out of them, cut them into quarters, cut them into small sections, put them in a skillet, preferably cast iron, with some butter, and uh, start cooking them. As they start to cook, put you, now to me, it's up to you. Um, but you put you a couple tablespoons of cinnamon in there, pinch of nutmeg, just keep cooking them. They'll start getting dry, add more butter. You can put you about, about a half a cup of sugar in there. I mean, that's, like I said, you can make this as sweet as you want. You cook them as long as you want. If you want it more soft, mushy, like an applesauce steak thing, keep cooking, keep cooking slowly. Medium heat, watch it, keep stirring it. If you want a little texture to it, put it on there, spin it around a few times, get your sugar and your butter in there, and it's done, set it to the side. If you don't want to cook it at all, and want them just to get the heat only from the oven, then you can do that. Me, I cut mine to the size I like. I put two nice, not a pinch, but two nice handfuls of uh, little uh, sprinkles of cinnamon on there. Just a little bit of nutmeg in there. And I put, I think I put like a little bit more than a quarter cup of sugar on mine because I'm going for the more of the sweeter thing. Like I said, this is for the kids and it's a dessert. And that's what they like is sugar. So uh, you cook that, you set it to the side, let it cool down. Then this is just a store-bought puff pastry. I'm gonna roll this out so that I can get me four good squares out of it. Got a little egg wash right here. This ain't nothing but one egg. A Little bit of water. You can even put a little bit of milk in there if you want to. That'll make it sure that, um, that when you're cooking them, they're brown. 400 degree oven. This shouldn't take no more than about 20, 25 minutes as far as that goes. Prep time for this whole thing. Prep should be about 15 minutes. Cook time, about 20 minutes. Whole thing done within 40, 45 minutes. That's it. You know, once you bring them out, you put a little, uh, well, we'll get to that part. But uh, I was say you put a little sugar on the top of them. Uh, you know, I got this organic honey. I'm going to put a little of that on cross mine. I mean, powder sugar. You do what you want to. Don't put anything. Just let the sweetness carry over from the inside. So, you know, with that being said, I'm going to get the roll of this thing out. This right here, I got mine kind of like at room temperature, you know, so it'll roll pretty good. And it's delicate, but it's not like fragile. So, you know, a couple rolls this way, a couple rolls that way. You know, you just pretty much want this thing even. That's about right, right there. See how quick that is? It's about right. It's about right. So, really, what you should use, and I'm gonna do it just because I found it, is a pizza cutter. I was gonna use this knife because that's what I had. You know what I mean? That's all you're gonna do. Now, watch. That part out a little bit more. You don't really even need a lot of pressure on this, especially, especially if you get this, leave it out kind of room temperature. You might be cooking dinner. So you're gonna go that way. Gonna go that way. That's as complicated as it gets. Now watch what happens next. Take this, bring it back like that. Now look, these got to be sealed all the way up. If you don't seal these up in any of this apple stuff, the apple filling hits these corners and edges, you know, little holes, stuff like that, it's going to seep out. It's still going to be edible and all that stuff, but it's just not going to be as good. It's not, I mean, it's going to be as good, but it's not going to be as, as pretty. You know what I mean? So what you really want to do is get really your own little amount, your nice amount. You don't want to get too much of that. I got that syrup in there for a reason. I, uh, that's a whole other recipe or whatever. But, you know... Nice little, maybe a quarter cup, if you really want to have to measure it, if you want to get technical with it, maybe a quarter cup of apples. But y'all know how I do. Everything I do is extreme, so I'm going to put a little bit more in there than I need to put in there. I know. We're going to see together. This might not, this might not be big enough. I'm going to do like that, do like that. I might have put too much in there, but this one's going to be mine anyway if I did. So all you want to do... Just like that. But that's really too big. It's too much. But it's okay, baby. Then you take your fork. Bam, 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 bam. Just like that. Just push it down. 
just like that. Now I have a pan right here. I already got parchment paper on there. Now, you don't really have to do anything other than that. I added butter to mine because in my mind it helps it get brown. That's just in my mind, you know. Maybe actually true, I don't think it is. So the next one's we'll act like we got some sense and do it the right way. Just because I am supposed to be showing y'all how to do this. You can get you a little measuring cup if you need to. Just like that. That's what you're supposed to put in there. We do it like we got some sense. We do it like wrong, folks. How about that? And truthfully, you don't even have to do all the sides of this egg like this because it's going to fold over and top, over the top like that anyway. See, just like that. I'm going to be extra every time. Every time. I think y'all watching just to see how bad I'm going to mess up anyway. See, just like that. Pick him up nice and gentle. I'm going to be manhandling and roughing him up. You know, I'm going to adjust this in a minute anyway. You don't want them touching when you cook. Let's do enough. Yeah, that juice. Do something with that juice. I ain't said nothing. I'm just saying, you can do something with it. Just like that right there. Now, see, the kids can help you with this. This is one of them things that, you know, you want to do and get it on out the way, you can do that. You want the kids to come help you, whatever, you can do that. Just like that. Fold it over. Now, I know somebody looking like, oh, they're going to leave. No, they're not. It's not going to happen. I put some push-ups on it. Well, I said it like this. It's not going to happen from the edges. How about that? I'm going to make this a little easy for myself. Nope, that didn't work. All right. Last one. We're going to do the other side, too. Now, if you just happen to get a little bit of that juice in there, it's not the end of the world. You just don't want a lot in there. You don't want that. Just like that. You just want a little bit in there. I got a little bit of that juice on the edge. I don't want the discrepancies. Now, look. I could go ahead and tell you a lie. Tell you I, I did that on purpose just to see if y'all going to see it. I ain't ate no chicken today, so I ain't going to tell no lies. Just like that. All right, we're going to do this again. We got one more sheet to do. I see a hole in this one already. We'll straighten these out once I get them on here. I should be straightening them out now because you don't want to be moving these things every five seconds. But it's okay, baby. You ain't got to go crazy. And yes, this is a filet knife. Just like that. Now look. I'm gonna finish, you know I'm filling these up. Ain't nothing going to waste. I'm gonna set these to the side for right now. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a big one with that one. I'm gonna use both of those to make one. Just like this. That's all you wanna do. See, we got some pretty ones, we got some ugly ones. You know what I'm saying? Just like life. When you go to work, you got some pretty ones, some ugly ones. You know what I'm talking about? You know, that's life. That's how it go. Nothing you can do about that. Just be the best you you can be, baby. I know y'all saying, ah, oh, he ain't hungry, he ain't sung that one time today. I'm, hey, listen, I know I haven't sung. <laughs> I'm trying to spare y'all. <laughs> hey, I'm going to tell y'all a secret, but y'all can't tell nobody. Guess what? Even with the cake and all that, I still done lost another probably seven pounds. You know, really four, but I'm going to call it seven. It's my lie. I'm going to tell it the way I want to. But still, loss is a loss. Now look here. That's how it is. Now look, you can sprinkle something on here right now if you wanted to. I mean, I'm not going to do it, and I don't really recommend it because this is puff pastry. Now, with the pie shell, if you use the pie shell, then you want to do this and then put some sugar on it. You know what I mean? And because uh, that helps because this puff pastry is going to, watch, just let me, let me do this. I'm going to put these on in the oven. Now, put 20 minutes. Slide it in on the center rack. Nice little apple turnovers. So what we're going to do is add this a little bit at a time. We're going to get as much as we can possibly get into this. That's what we're going to do. So just add a little bit at a time because you know we ain't got no business doing this one right here. <laughs> and no, I'm not going to eat it. I'm going to give it to somebody. That's really all you can get in there. That little bit right there, that's all you can get in there. See, I need this juice, so I got to get all these apples up out of here. You ain't supposed to put no more. This is like triple what you should have in here. So, will it turn out? I don't know. We're going to see together. Let's find out. All right. Let's see what happens. We got us a little science going, you know. A little science. A little dessert. What can be better than that? Huh? Who better than us? Nobody. Nobody's better than us. 
Can you see me? Y'all see what I'm doing? Get my little crimp down. See, I had to do it in the pan because ain't no way in the world I'd be able to pick this up. I think it's gonna leak and all kind of foolishness. That's just my personal opinion. We're gonna see. We try to make it so that it don't. Stretch him a little bit right here. See, cooking's supposed to be fun. You can't experiment. Where the fun of that? You can't have fun with it. Might as well not do it, right? I still think it's gonna leak, but we'll see. Put me some nice vent holes in the top. We're gonna see what happens. Egg wash him on down. Get that nice little brown and little shine on him. Not too much, just enough. It could work. Especially if I took my time and did it right, it would work. But we'll see. It's no big deal either way. Crimping ain't easy, y'all. You hear me? Oh, actually it is. But y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, gonna put him in there. It's a monster, baby. All right, y'all, look here. I'm back. They didn't leak, just like I told you they wouldn't. We got some pretty ones, we got some ugly ones. Like I said, it's just like light. Now, as you can see, they still smoking. They still hot. Nothing sticking to the pan. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Now look. Look at that. Now that right there, it's something hell of a flavor. It's something good dessert flavor. You know what I'm saying? You and the kids, adult, and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Give it to the kids. They're going to thank you. Thank you, mama. Thank you, daddy. They're going to do all that. Grandma, grandpa, everybody. It's all fun and games when you got to do stuff for the kids. No big deal. Hey, how many of y'all remember that little brown sauce I had left over? From them apples, that little extra goodness? Let me show you something real quick. This is for the grown folks. Kids go to bed. This is for the grown folks. Yeah? Let me set this right here. That same goodness that was in that bowl. You know your big cousin put a little heat on it. You know what I'm talking about? Couple little apples still in there. I just put a little heat on it, you know. And you know what? Since we grown, we'll put you a little bit right there <laughs> so you can dip it. You hear me? Now, what y'all know about this? Now, look, that's cool. I ain't done. Matter of fact, I'm not even gonna waste another plate because y'all know I'm gonna eat this stuff anyway. Look here, I'm gonna set that right there. We're gonna break out that, uh, that room temperature. <laughs> Organic raw honey. Boy, if y'all don't stop. Now, understand this when I tell you, it's nice to be nice to the nice. So, if somebody did that something extra special, you understand me? Hey, you can't do nothing else, do this. Look at that. Honey, look caramel, look caramel, caramel, however you want to say it, caramel, whatever. It's right here. You hear me? You can break your little piece off of here. Get you a little dip. I'm gonna need to be by myself for a minute. So, with that being said, I'm one more time. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna need to be alone. I should be ashamed of myself about what I'm about to do, but I'm not. So, little honey, little homemade caramel. I mean, you can go basic. You know what I mean? It's not really basic. A little powdered sugar or something. You can do that. Mix your little cocoa powder, a little powder sugar, sprinkle that on, have a little chocolate and caramel and everything. You can do all that. But I ain't got time for that. This right here is what I got, and this is what I'm going to do. Do what you got, do what you do. Love you. See you when I get back, baby. <laughs> all right. Hey, I forgot to tell y'all. Hold on. Don't go nowhere. Wait. Hold on. Remember the big one we did? I'm just going to tell you like this. It ain't no shock in all about this one. Ain't no surprise. <laughs> it came out like it was supposed to, like I told you. <laughs> Bam. Yep, what y'all know about that? Now listen, y'all think that I showed you this one to be greedy, to make a big one, so I can, you know what I'm saying, just eat? No. This one right here is the one that you and your significant other eat when the kids get done eating and you got that caramel, you know what I'm talking about? Huh? Look here. 
This is what this is for. That's what this is for. Yeah, I always know a little something more than what I'm saying, you dig? And then, I, like I always tell you, I'm going to put you a little bit on there just for dipping. You don't know where that karma going to get to. You know what I'm talking about? Grown folks, baby. That's that big one. That's that overloaded one. That's that one for two people. You hear me? This is the one. So, hey, man, it don't take much. I think this whole thing put together might have been $10. If you can't do this for the one you love, you better keep watching my videos so you can figure something else out. <laughs> All right, I'm gone, y'all.